Hey there, welcome to, or welcome back to No France Profits. I'm coming to you today from the Celebrity Reflection in what is still referred to on all maps as Bistro on Five. It's now called Sushi on Five, but let me give you a little bit of a history. Kirsten, unfortunately we're on separate sides of the table today, so I have to turn. Uh, do you like crepes? Yes. I don't mean to make you sad. You're not getting crepes today. That was just a, a useless question. No, not a useless question. This originally opened with these ships as a crepery. So basically, the idea of Bistro on Five, when this ship opened, God knows how long ago, 11, 12 years ago, is you would pay $5, you'd come in, you'd get as many crepes, as many sandwiches, they had croque madames, they had all that. This place, I mean, maybe not this specific one, but on this ship, made me love crepes. Kind of sounds weird. Um, then they upped it to $10 changed it so they had a different special item every day, cut the menu in half, but it included unlimited milkshakes. So I'd come here when I worked for this company and I'd have like three milkshakes, I'd have some crepes, I'd have a croque madame, you're familiar with the croque madame and everything no, like that? that? It's like an adult grilled cheese sandwich. Uh, we're gonna go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you tomorrow, proverbially, to the best uh, grilled cheese sandwich place I've ever been to, but that is for another time. Um, and then it kind of stagnated, and there's this guy who came to the company, came to Celebrity. He's still a good friend of mine. His name is Yoshi Okada. Uh, it is public that he's done this, so there's no, no secrets or anything like that. And he's a master sushi chef, actually, from Japan. Uh, and he started working with, I don't believe four, I could be wrong, uh, but he started working with Celebrity. Um, I believe he has one of those things that the, the Michelin man has. What are those called? Stars. Yeah, he has, he has a couple of those. Um, and he made this concept called Sushi on Five. And a lot of people, including myself, originally were afraid to come to Sushi on Five because what don't I eat, Kirsten? Uh, sushi. I don't eat raw fish. Yeah. So the real question was, you know, what do they have? So I happened to run into Yoshi because Yoshi needed an internet package at the time he came on and Yoshi's like, I told him I don't like sushi. And he goes, don't worry, my friend. You come, and I'm going to get you something you will like. And I said, you know what I said to him, Kirsten? I said, bullshit. But you know what? I took him up on his challenge. And this is actually one of my, not is, hold on, we get it? It was, I'm hoping it's staying is, okay? Because I haven't eaten here in a while. Uh, it was one of my favorite restaurants on board. So Kirsten is going to get at least one sushi item, correct? Yes. So you can review it. Mm -hmm. But we are going to get shrimp cooked shrimp and scallops lobster dynamite shrimp other stuff like that um right here at the sushi on five they also have a special cocktail and beer list that they don't have elsewhere on the ship so yeah we're gonna get the chicken chicken gin get god i'm not even drunk chicken ginger goza gyoza homemade lobster and shrimp wontons shrimp and scallop dynamite and lobster ramen those are the things that i can eat and we're gonna share all of that, but I'm saying those are the things, those are all cooked. Uh, and for dessert, we're gonna have some mochi. Are you, you had mochi before? Yes. You're a fan of mochi? I love it. Okay, so we're gonna have some mochi for dessert. Um, and Kirsten even saw on the way in, I'll see if I can catch some video of it, how thinly you were saying he was slicing the avocado. I'm not a, I'm not a sushi fan, so yes. I don't know these things. It, he was slicing it like a sheet of paper. I do have picked out my rolls that I'm gonna order. I'm gonna actually get two of them as well, uh, in addition to trying each of the things you ordered. I'm gonna get the rainbow roll, which is gonna have tuna, salmon, snow crab, yellowtail, cucumber, and avocado. And I'm also gonna get the baked scallop, which is a California roll topped with baked scallops. And the reason why I picked these two rolls are because one, I know I'm gonna like them, but also, the rainbow roll has a variety of different fish in it. It's usually a really pretty roll, and there's a lot of people that are probably gonna be interested in seeing that one. And then the baked scallop, I just happen to love scallops. And because it includes a California roll, that's kind of like a beginner's sushi that's roll. That's just the avocado and the fake crab, right? Yeah, and so that should be a pretty tame one, but I'm excited to see what they're gonna do with putting baked scallops on top, so. Yeah, looking so forward to it. I, I do want to note something for everybody. Um, this is an a la carte experience, so, so you're paying per dish. Overall, it's going to cost you pretty much what a specialty restaurant would cost for, for dinner, as where they're where where they're pricing that. But uh, we're going to get the dishes. We're going to get some beers. 
I'm gonna get some, are you gonna have a beer? I'm gonna get a beer. And uh, we'll let you know how it all is. All right, so our beers have arrived. I got a Sapporo. Kirsten, I think you ordered a Kieran and got a Kieran Light. Not a big deal. It's okay. Um, they, they knew you were watching your figure. I'm joking. Don't kill me, internet comments. But I want to point out that uh, these are the first chilled glasses we've gotten with beers on this cruise. Am I wrong? You're not wrong. So that's that's why Kirsten was like gonna pour her beer, and I was like, here, you know, now you can pour the beer. Mine's a little darker. Yours is light. Who would have thought light beer being light? Um, I know what Sapporo tastes like, but go ahead. Well, we'll swap real quick. I'll try. You, you take the Sapporo. Let's see. Uh, it's a lot of head. Kirsten said it's a lot of head. I said you can never have too much head. This is the Bud Light of Asia. Kirsten had the Bud Light of Paris. So was that? 1776 or something? It was limited edition. That was breakfast in Paris. And I've got a Sapporo, which I think is a stronger beer. Definitely. Yeah, out of those two, I would go with Sapporo. Remember, they do have a pretty advanced uh, drink and cocktail menu here, and that is included if you do have the premium drink package. So, just want everybody to be aware of that fact. We are still... Um, we ordered, we got our order in about 15, 20 minutes ago, and we're still waiting for the first appetizer course to come. I do like to give updated on service times. Uh, we did go to Lawn Club Grill earlier this cruise, and, and after t no food showed up on the table for 45 minutes. So I'm hoping this is not a rehash of that, but we're only about 15 to 18 minutes in right now from ordering. Let you know when something hits the table. All right, so our appetizer course has arrived. Uh, this is really a, a main course for me, because again, I don't do sushi um we did get i want to give you a little tour um that is the uh chicken and ginger gyoza i believe with the hoisin glaze yes and, and and you know what it's got seaweed salad with it which i didn't see on the menu i thought maybe i would see that as its own thing because i love seaweed salad okay. but it got included here cool um so i want to put the uh, there are i said it was a la carte before so those are ten dollars give one a try don't worry i won't show you eating i'll, I'll come over here and i'll do a song and dance Okay, I'll let her finish chewing. Thoughts? Very good. That's the chicken one, right? Yeah, it's very good. So that is a $10 a la carte thing. Um, would you like to try some of the others? Like the shrimp and scallop dynamite in the middle there. So shrimp and scallop dynamite is a $10, I think, as well. Yeah, $11. Uh, you've got shrimp and you've got scallops. It's a little spicy. You like spicy? You okay with spicy? No, not really, but we'll make it anyway. Good. It's good? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, so, and then the last one left for you to try is the, um, chick no, this is the homemade lobster and shrimp wontons. Uh, $8, which is weird that the lobster and shrimp cost, has a lot more of them. And it costs less than the chicken. Wait, did we get them wrong? Lobster, chicken. Okay. No. We we done mixed them up. Okay, so that was the lobster, the first mm -hmm. one you did. Yeah. See, Kristen's not very good at her proteins. I'm just kidding. Um, so next up we have coming the, um, the ramen, which we'll, we'll get to that when we get to that. So essentially, just so you know, this is, uh, uh, $10, $8, $11. Just put it in perspective, um, where we're at right now. I'm going to try these all. Um, when I get my, uh, I'm going to order another drink. When I get my cocktail, I'll give you my thoughts on these. And if they were just as good as the first time I had them, because again, I'm, I'm all about consistent quality. I was one of the first non F and B people to taste a lot of these items. Cause this came up during, I think this, this concept came up during dry dock of the Equinox. I was the first ship that actually got this on it. And you do have non disposable chopper sticks. So um, you say this is the chicken one? 
Yeah. Yeah, let's try it real quick. Okay. I agree. That's chicken. Mm. This one has a different sauce. Yes, it has a hoisin sauce, I think. How did you mistake that for chicken? I was like, this is some pretty good chicken. Chicken of the sea. And then, got a scallop. Is there a little spicy? They're manageable. I mean, I'd say that among the best dishes we've had on the ship so far, correct? Yeah, it's pretty good. And we're not even at the, uh, main part yet. See you for the lobster ramen and the sushi and sadly they said they don't have any mochi. So um maybe we'll get some green tea ice cream. Maybe. We'll see. Who knows? But I'll, I should be back with a spicy mango tea um and some lobster ramen soon. All right, so our main course has arrived. We've got the lobster ramen, which was like my favorite dish back in the day. I will point out again, I like to point out things that change. Uh, they used to have the actual proper spoons for ramen. They are now using metal spoons. Uh, that's just a fact of life. And we're here right at opening, so there's no uh, no excuse. Um, yes. But, uh, you agree with me, right? Like, yes. Everything else has been mm -hmm. dead on except for, for that one. Okay, so now what do you got? Talk through it. This is the rainbow roll, and it has um, salmon, tuna, and uh, yellow, yellow fin fish and um, over here we have the California roll with the scallops on top the scallops are all cut up um, this one looks really pretty the rainbow roll is actually a little bit more plain than I was expecting. subdued yeah but that that's okay all right I'll let you try that uh, we'll keep it running I dropped my napkin oh, it doesn't matter I don't have soy sauce oh just right there in that little oh. magic box so no soy sauce on the table when serving sushi. <laughs> no, there's soy sauce on other tables. Yes. Just pointing that out. Yes. All right, I'm gonna try the lobster ramen. I don't like to get other people eating on camera, but I can eat on camera. I, mean, I remember it was a little spicy. I'm just trying the broth right now. Just as good as I remember. How's yours? Uh, good. And let's, uh, let's grab a little lobster. Mm. I did order a uh, spicy mango teeny for myself. So you've tried both of them now. Now, what I need you to do, this is what I always ask people to do on cruise ships, because I can't do this person, okay? I literally can't do what I'm about to ask you. I want you to compare it to your favorite sushi place on land. Mm -hmm. I don't have a favorite sushi place, period. I'll let you finish chewing. <laughs> oh, and I didn't give pricing for all this, but go ahead while I get the pricing. Okay. So, I really like the sushi back home at probably um, Kona Grill is some of my favorite. The sushi there is a little bit prettier. Um, this California, or this um, rainbow roll is very good. I had one piece so far and it's it's very good. Not and they're as, all different, correct? Mm -hmm. Well, not, mostly different. Not as good as Kona Grill though, Okay. but pretty, pretty good, like an eight of 10. Okay. This one is a little bit more plain to me. Ooh. Oh, what a pretty drink showing up. I know. You want you, you want to try that one? All right, I will. Okay. But Go ahead and do your This California roll, it seems more like maybe grocery store sushi to me that has the scallops on top. Um looks like there's maybe a little bit of caviar or something in there too, um which is nice. But so this one looks prettier, but is more plain once I actually eat it. 
Okay. Um, let me give pricing, and then you could try the mango teeny. Uh, pricing is for the lobster ramen is sixteen dollars a la carte. The uh, rainbow roll, I'm looking for it. Um, rainbow roll is thirteen, and the other one was was Richie still looking for it? Because it was like on one, but not on another. I think that was about thirteen as well. The one with the um, stuff on top. Here, Kirsten, do you want to try the spicy? Mango teeny. This are really it's not pretty. that spicy, it's but it's a, really a pretty, pretty drink. drink. So do you know the secret? You know where these actually come from? The world class bar. But you can only order them when you're here. They're special drinks from the world class bar. Mm, creamy. <laughs> did this you get to any of the drink yet? I did. This is an excessive amount of um, whipped cream for a drink, but excuse it me, works because ex it's pretty. Me. She said excessive. It was girthy whipped cream, right? Mm. Yeah, it's pretty girthy. All right, let, let, pa pass the, it back over. The drink is a little bit strong for me, but you're going to like it. I don't have to water it down with Coke. Right. My God, those drinks, if, if the drinks in the Sky Lounge, I'm talking about the ones actually on the menu. There's some rough ones there. Mmm. I got cream all over my face now, too. I'm going to, um, before we, uh, nah, I'm going to have to pause it and let Kirsten try this. Um, Kirsten will give you her thoughts. Oh, that's a good drink. It's a very strong, though. And I might have to remove some of the whipped cream and put it in, like, my, my little container here for later. What? When you just need some emergency whipped cream in your pocket? I mean, I need emergency whipped cream, but it's not in my pocket. We'll leave that for your imagination. <laughs> well, we'll see you for the dessert course um, coming up in a bit. Again, we don't have, um, we're gonna get some form of dessert, but we don't have any mochi, but we have to have at least- Hopefully green tea ice cream. That's you like I'm green tea ice cream? That's what I'm hoping for. I think that's on the menu, but we'll have to see. Stick around. All right, so I did want to show you. Uh, I did finish my uh, my spicy mango teeny, uh, and I did have to take all the cream out. And look how much cream's left. I got me another sapuro. Uh, before we talk about the overall cost, I did tell Kirsten the overall cost. But what do you think of it overall? Uh, I think it was like decently good, but I wasn't blown away. So, can I ask a uh, Kokomo or the, 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 the sushi place you were talking about? What was the name of it? Kona Grill. Kona Grill. How much would that cost for two people to go have some sushi? Uh, I'm, I'm asking for... <coughs> it's, uh, it's about the same price. They have many rolls that are like between 11 to $18. Okay. Yeah. So then you add some, I mean, the drinks, let me, let me, let me be very clear. This number I'm going to give you, and I'm going to tell you the number, the drinks were not included in that number because we have a beverage package that's separate. Mm -hmm. So I think that's important for you to understand. Essentially, we came to uh, $86.40. Again, uh, it was $84 to eat up at the Lawn Club Grill, $86.40. Kirsten's saying that's... That's similar to if you were to get drinks and stuff with your stuff at Kona Grill. Yeah. The name of it. I mean, I think that's even, that number is even high for two people for Kona Grill. Would you say that? I think that with these a are tip comparable. And everything yeah. like that. Okay, but that's if you're getting drinks and dessert and stuff at Kona Grill. Not so, and dessert. Okay, drinks yeah. or dessert. Okay, I don't eat sushi. That's why. That's why I defer yes. to you. Um, I, I really <laughs> think now I, the prices haven't actually gone up that much here. Um, there, there is a crowd, there's people kind of waiting to get in here and stuff like that. So I, I can't hate it. Um, I will tell you, I do like some food options on Royal Caribbean. The, in the a la carte space, in the paper item space, uh, they have a, have you been on Royal? Yeah. Have you been to Playmakers, their sports bar that has like chicken wings and jalapeno poppers and stuff like that? Uh, a long time ago, yes. So I, I like that as a value play. A lot more than this. I can just go get some jalapeno poppers or chicken wings for like six or ten bucks, and I don't have a whole meal. Yeah, we probably did over order, uh, but I don't eat sushi, so I can't really help Kirsten with the sushi. I do have to say my favorite a la carte of sort restaurant. I was asking Kirsten. Kirsten's, I would say her favorite cruise line is Norwegian. 
We'll talk about this on our ship tour. Her second favorite is probably MSC. Am I yep. speaking correctly? But she hasn't tried a restaurant that's on MSC, which is same, same, but different, but still same to this. You've heard that expression, same, same, but different, but still same. It's a Mexican restaurant. Okay. Similar to the, the concept of the sushi here uh, called Ola Tacos. And I think overall value, overall everything, I think the Mexican restaurant's better. Um, I don't think this is bad. I want to be clear. I, I'll ask Kirsten because my opinion doesn't really matter here. Was this better than Long Club Grill? Uh, you like to fillet you know, at Long Club. And I also had, I think, like a skewer of scallops at Long Club Grill, and I liked the scallops there better. They're okay. nice and like crispy on the edges and, and like obviously cooked. Now, of note, we did Long Club Grill on the first night, so it was 30% off of the price, but Long Club Grill actually for two people came out cheaper than this and you can order what you wanted. But I got some good news for everyone. We ordered Sapporo and we ordered a spicy mango teeny and they actually brought us the correct thing each time. <coughs> we didn't have to play the On Club Grill lemonade game, did we? Yes. So this is Richard and Kirsten. Coming to you from the Celebrity Reflection. Yeah, today's the sea day. It's the last sea day from Sushi on Five. And no, don't sit by yet. Um, I can recommend it if you're on Celebrity, but the real question is whether I recommend Celebrity anymore. And uh, we will definitely talk about that. So again, from Richard and Kirsten from No Pants Profits. Remember that when you wear no, I'm sorry, I don't want to make you dizzy. Uh, when you wear no pants, the only thing you have left to lose is... Your shirt. Oh, wait, let's try that again. We'll do like ventriloquist. The only thing you have left to lose is... Your shirt. That was kind of cool. Like we could do like ventriloquism. Hi, blah, 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 blah. My name is Richard and I like to drink. I'm a degenerate gambler. She's terrible. I don't know why I keep her around. See you around. Bye.